I had a dream last night where I decided to go to the mountain and I fell off the mountain, stumbled into the water, drifted away from the currents, and ended up in the future where people can pet surf stocks. Um, so I was like, oh no, where's Riley? Where's my family? What's happening to the future? They're all gone. And uh, I'm trying to get some answers, go in the store. Um, I don't know why I went into the store. And then there's this service dog who um, kept following me um, with the service dog handler. I tried not to touch him or look at it. It was like this beautiful mural poo that was like um, black and white. <laughs> Um, patterns like a cloud that's black and white but it's put over dog version <laughs> and um, it might have been a duo but um, this lady was like had curly mop kind of hair it looks like a um, a mop <laughs> uh, mop head <laughs> so anyhow um, I I I said, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to pet your dog. I don't know why she keeps or she keeps um, coming up to me. I'm trying to not to touch him. It's like, yeah, that's okay. You you can pet service dogs. It's fine now. I don't know why it was not allowed 100 years ago or something. I was like, 100 years ago? Um, and uh, she said, well, that dog seems alert. This dog alerts to um, people's. Uh, something in people like anxieties or something so I think it's sensing anxiety and something about you that that's why he's pulling over I'm like, oh okay and um it was a crazy dream it was a crazy dream I remember being in class and this Karen earlier coming up and slandering around and stuff and then I clicked and my thumbs and I went away to the mountains <laughs> so um, to escape the toxicity um, yeah um, I guess I could write a book about it I'm already writing like a book already that has like 286 pages um, I have more stories too like Dia World, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, my other Pokemon stories. I like to be in the books. And then this one about um, vampires where the person's dog is, can't, the person is about to put their dog down. And they, he just can't do it. He lives in Toronto <laughs> where I was born. Um, and, um, he wants to, he can't do it. He can't do it. And then he's about, he just can't do it. And then suddenly, um, vampires are coming all over the world and starting an apocalypse. And then he decides to become a vampire and try to find a way to, uh, make his dog's life eternal so if he never dies then they can um, live together and follow their goals without having to rush and waiting for time to end their lives <laughs> yeah alright bye